Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use, draw a rose emoji using my Posca markers. I've got uh, the Posca Mopar. I've also got a red Posca that I've got a red that I've refilled with Molotow ink because it's a slightly different red and also the dark red. The, what's it called? The dark, the dark red. I'm gonna use the dark red to create a rose emoji drawing in this one. First step is to shake the ink. Then we're gonna lay down some flat areas of color using that awesome Posca Mopar markers. Flick out the top part of the rose. A couple of little strokes there. Next, I've got a dark red that I am outlining and adding any details, making sure that the undercolor was dry. That's super important to make sure it was dry. And then just mapping on all the main petals of the rose. Coloring in any dark areas as well using the dark red. It's a PC3M that I'm using. Making sure that that's dry, grabbing a green apple and drawing over the top of the rose with the leaves and coloring in that. Sometimes uh, with coloring in, especially over the top of other colors, you may need to do two layers. So let it dry and then go over it again. This is a PC5M that I'm using. Now I'm using a red Posca that's been filled with Molotow ink to provide a different red to the existing red. You could use a dark red. This just gives a bit more variation, gives you that mid value as well. So I've got the light red, the mid red and the dark red here to provide detail and contrast. I'm just mapping on some of the extra shadow areas. Now I'm using the green Posca marker for the darker areas on the green. Putting some line work on there, making sure that the under layer is dry. You can see there it's a little bit wet. Make sure it is dry. And putting on some details. Now I've got the super dark red and I'm just making sure that I go over all the other bits. So I've got a light mid and a dark, dark red for the outlines. And that provides contrast and makes it look a lot better. And if you noticed that I haven't shown you, but I've also added a little bit of color pencil highlights that can as you can see in parts of the drawing there, that makes a big difference as well. So once your Posca is dry, you can actually go over it with pencil. Just refining that up with some red and making it look really good. And there we have a rose emoji using Posca markers. The last little thing that I'm going to add is some highlights with some yellow on certain parts of the leaves. Now if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a like and a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, cheers, bye, see ya.